knife. Sometimes there are no words. Kill me! Put me out of my misery! Just kill me, please! Hello everyone, I'm TG and this is your home for Garbage Gameplay. Today I'm bringing you a brand new Spencer build that is honestly so strong, I expect them to patch it pretty quickly. I've played this build about 10 times and I haven't lost a single match using it. This build is all about mod cards, bioenergy, bioenergy, and bioenergy. You're going to have so much fucking bioenergy, you're just going to be using it because you got to feel like you're doing something. This build cements Spencer as the all-time king of being a dirty piece of crap that nobody wants to play against. First thing we're going to use is Refract, and this thing is badass. A well-timed Refract can take out an entire team as if it was nothing. The next thing we're going to be using is his Mod Efficiency, which reduces the cost of all mod cards by 3, and gives you an Electro Mag Shield on your camera for 1 second every time you use a mod card. So the mod cards in this deck are all going to cost 1, and you can interrupt them from taking out your cameras every time that you use one. Next, the Piel de Resistance, if you will, is the battery variant of bioactivation. This increases your bioenergy cap by 10. By 10! And each mod card in your hand will speed up your bioenergy recharge. So there's going to be times where you need to recharge a little bit of bioenergy and you just have a handful of mod cards and you can just plan your next course of action. For our first exclusive card, we're going to be using the brand new Invulnerability Anchor, and the reason for that is we need all the mods we can, so Mod Recycler is actually going to hurt us, and Advanced OS Mod has no place in this deck. Also, Invulnerability Anchor is going to make it so our rooms can look like this, and what a lovely sight this is. So lastly, we're going to be using Hypercharge, because although Overcharge Mod is pretty great, we're going to have more than enough mods already, and our bioenergy is really not going to be a problem. Hypercharge is going to make it so Area 3 is just a complete nightmare for the survivors. Next, onto our equipment, we're going to be using the Miniature Reactor as well as the Unstable Generator, and that's just going to give us a huge boost to bioenergy recharge, as well as giving our bio cores a little more durability. We're also going to be using Resilient Skin too, so when your creatures are not invulnerable, they're still going to have a little bit of toughness to them. And lastly, we're using Bulletproof Glass 2. So if they do get to Area 3, they're going to wish that they didn't because they're not taking down a Biocore. Lastly, we're going to take a look at the deck. And I promise you, this deck is unlike anything you've ever seen before. It is a 5-mod deck. The two main mods that we're concerned with are Efficiency Mod Creatures and Viral Mod Energy Leech. These things are going to be in your hand the entire game and you never want to get rid of them. The other three mods are what you're going to be using to cycle through and get your Electromag Shields or holding on to to regenerate a little bit of bioenergy. We're going to be using the Generator Mod Small, the OS Mod, and the Red Queen Mod. And with Spencer's Mod Efficiency, these are only going to cost one. So Zombie Roll Call, we have the Infectious Zombie, the Dealer, the Double Zombie, the Tough Zombie, and the Liquor. And the Liquor is going to be the most important creature in your deck, and I'm going to be using a Liquor Preset. You're going to have so much bioenergy using this build that you're going to be throwing out liquors like they're goddamn candy. It's going to be a fucking tongue tornado out there. And everything you put down is also going to have energy leech. So that means whenever you're jumping into your dealer or your tough zombie to keep the doors open for the liquors to slide on through or to cause a little bit of chaos, by the time all is said and done, you're back up to 15, 16 bioenergy. The entire game, you're going to be sitting at around roughly 13, and the only time you're going to be dropping below that is when you're really loading up a room. But one thing you want to keep in mind while you're doing all this is you got to remember to keep your doors locked, keep the lights off, because you want to keep the survivors as confused and boxed in as possible. So that's the build. I'm going to show you a match that I played earlier using it, and it was quite a lot of fun to play, and I really hope you enjoy it. It's a pretty well balanced team aside from little Martin there. My time Just gonna lock this door, throw a little of the old here, misdirection their way. I could become a god. And I got my viral mod, but I don't yet have my creature mod. So that's a little bit lame. We are just gonna wait it out and get a little bit of bioenergy. Just look how fast that bioenergy is going up. need to explore to unlock this. Good luck. Seems like they might be coming in here, but... Oh, 
That seems my clever ruse has worked. This is exactly what I want. Triple liquor. Place you there for later. Welcome to the party, boys. Now, unfortunately, only one of my liquors has the energy leech, but that's okay. My beautiful friend here has it as well. And it's game time. Wow, I really, I missed all three of them. Just add another liquor there. Lock them in. Perfect. See, Tyrone's trying to run away, but there's no escape. There's no escape. You know what? I'm actually going to let him go because there is lots of fun still to be had down there. Yeah, that was bizarre. Oh, Jill, you can run. You can run, but you cannot hide. So I'm going to go ahead and use this dealer for door opening purposes. Make sure our liquors have a nice avenue to travel through. There we go. Uh, no one's helping little Martin. A better death than your fear, but ah, see, you think you're smart closing that door. So but I say nay. Good. I shall learn more from you. I will tear out your insides. Oh, Martin, you should have just stood at the exit. Well, I would say that was a success. So now things are going to get really fun because I got the invulnerability anchor. And I'm at full 20 bioenergy. So let's just place this guy down here. I want you to suffer longer. And oh, a large generator mod, thank you. Actually, you know what? It works better on this camera. Uh, or it doesn't work at all. Let's try that again. Allow the fear to you. So Sam's trying to make a break for it. I can't have that. I am coming to get you. Hello, sir. I think it's about time for a defield, so let's do that. Ah, slick. Another liquor. Fantastic. 
lesser creatures can benefit from my control. Now, I still think the dealers stand up too slow. But we got what we needed from her. Oh, you're right. There is much for us to do today. That's okay. I have a feeling I they're just not gonna make it. Yeah, you deal with that and I'm gonna deal with you. I am coming to get you. <laughs> Oh, where did Tyrone come from? Yes, come to me. There are few things scarier than a invulnerable ivy. What are you doing, Sam? Going the wrong way, buddy. Well, that is Biomod Spencer. That's probably the most fun I've had playing Spencer in quite a while. So as always, I'm TG. If you like what you saw, you know what to do. If not, eh, keep it sleazy.